I want to um, share some testimonies that we have got through online. We have Believers Fellowship English channel and also we have a kids channel, Raising Up Champions. So one of the testimonies that we have got, I think maybe she's watching online. This is from UK. She says, hello there. I have been watching your church services in English for the last few weeks. I have been blessed and I know through the Holy Spirit and discernment that what is being preached is God inspired. It's also scripture based and sound. I praise the Lord for your ministry. Hallelujah. She spoke to me. We have been actually through audio, um, through uh, text messages and some of them I have been replying her and so we have a good uh, uh, friendship now. So God has been so good to her. And also another Actually, it's a comment. Uh, it's from Kenya. During a YouTube English service, my heart rejoices to sit at the feet of Jesus during the worship here. And she sends love. She has been blessed. Love from Kenya. And another message. God gave me plans, strategies, wisdom for my life when I sought for him or when I asked him. Thank you for preaching truth from the word. And thank God for the worship. And the kids channel received another uh, praise report. I am a mom from Flint, Michigan. And I just want to say I appreciate your YouTube channel for children. Uh, it is a blessing to my family. And seeing children give worship and praise the Lord, my baby enjoys watching so much. So happy we came across your channel on YouTube. I just wanted to email saying thank you. So God is good. Then another testimony. I shared this, I think, in a singular service, but I would like to share it again. This is testimony a brother had sent. Uh, he uh, came for, I think, Michael Bowman's meeting, and he was set free. And this is what he said. Michael saw right through me yesterday. Heart, yesterday, heartache, the broken heart belonged to me. I just couldn't forgive a certain person. It was difficult for me with all these things that the person has put me through. I just couldn't forgive, which I did yesterday. Or this person at this meeting, he forgave that person. He was having, you know, so much of heavy heart within him. When you don't forgive somebody, actually, it's like a big weight that you carry. After a long time, I had a good peaceful sleep. My head is not heavy anymore. My heart does not ache anymore. And I was able to... Uh, bury the matter and finally forgive her. I forgive her for all what she has done to me or what that person has done to me, all because I believe a good man was nailed to the cross, bearing all my sins, my shame, and my condemnation. So God is a God who wants to set you free. You don't have to hold on to grudges or anger, bitterness, hatred. God wants to set you free. Another testimony that we received, she gave me a call and Daluga uh, Makalania, and she said uh, she turned on and watched the 31st night service. It was a word of knowledge that was spoken, and uh, she was healed. She was having a pain on her right hand and shoulder. She called and said that the pain just had gone away, and she was totally and completely healed, and she can use her hand freely. And another comment, a praise report. Thank you, Pastor, for teaching powerfully on the written word, thank you for your guidance and explanation of Jeremiah 23:32. May God bless your efforts and family in truth. I listen every day from the states of Utah, USA. And uh, I believe there are many more who we get sometimes maybe in one short, simple sentence. God has blessed me. Or today the word of God, you know, really uh, spoke to me. So I'm sure that there are many more who would like to share their testimony. Please write to us or call us, text us through WhatsApp. And I believe there are many more who will be encouraged and, you know, they will be built up through these testimonies. So God bless you.